Hello ladies and gentlemen, Commissar Zero here, bringing you a look at running with rifles. Um, oh, sorry about that, Mike was in the wrong position. I had this game when it was early access, and this is my first look at it now that it's actually officially out on Steam. Um, as in, as a proper game now rather than early access. It's basically a sort of a run and gun, you can sort of see the menu here. If I take it away, you can see them around. And it's basically like, um, a sort of like almost toy soldier type thing, greens, yellows, Blues and Greys are the teams, and they've each got their individual sort of race type weapons. The Greys are German type weapons, the, the yellows are like Russian Soviet weapons, greens are American. Oh, I can't remember what the blues are, but we'll take a look. Right, let's jump into an online game. We'll do an invasion, and we'll go onto this server. Yes, please. Now, yeah, you you have to log in with your own username and password per server, but it saves your your rank progress, so you can unlock better weapons to buy from the store and all that jazz. Now, I personally love this game. It's a lovely, it's a lovely, very charming type game. So uh, we'll have a go. And I have started on the roof. Hooray! Where's everyone? Let's take a look. Right there, I am. Seems combat seems to be up here. So let's. Go take a look, see. So it's a, it's, it's a lot like a, a twin stick type shooter, I suppose. Except. Oh, a bit laggy there. Ooh, out of sync. And as you can see, the health bar, there is no sort of general health bar, I think it's a the general, if you get shot, you're dead. Come on! Oh, we're gonna go a different way, because I'm just a lowly private at the moment, so my weapons... I've got standard issue um, AK, actually, I think is what I've got. They might have changed it, by the way, the, the thing I was going with was based off the early access. Loads of them back there. Ooh, dragon orchid, please. I'm gonna put that in my backpack. Now, when your backpack's really heavy, see, I should remove stuff from my backpack. It's too heavy, your accuracy goes off the scale. So, to get money, you basically put stuff in your backpack, you run back, and you put it in the. Uh, you put it in the. Uh, like, you sell it on the store, essentially, is the word I'm looking for. So let's go back to the store. These guys are. the browns. Are getting absolutely annihilated. So we'll go back to the armory, which is here. And because I can't use the dragon off, I'm just going to sell it. And get some RP, which is the money, the RP. So, when you rank up, you can eventually get. Um, there's AI in this as well, I'm pretty sure. They're the guys who don't have colours around them. Or even those that do. Um, tend to actually be in the same squad together, so AI with colour around them oh, I just got completely shot up there would be in the, their squad leader would be bloody hell See, all us yellows are in the same squad. He's a lieutenant, he's a corporal, I'm just a private. Oh, he's a captain, actually, not a lieutenant, sorry. And I love it, because it's like a modern, it's a modern era type. Shoot him. Um, it's, it's just absolutely manic. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is, this is not what real war is actually like, um, but it, it's good fun. It's a bit like a top-down battlefield, almost, just with loads of people. And uh, quite fun mechanics. Oh, I'm dead. When you die, you just you, you spawn back. Like um, the Battlefield 2 Modern Combat, was it? The one where you could hot swap between AI characters in the campaign, if you remember that. I think that was just a PlayStation 2 game, though. That was a long time ago. Let's have a go with the M16. Oh, not in the right area. Oh, he's called in a fire mission. So certain leaders can call in radio radio drops, so to speak. Oh, APC. 
think it's ours though, we should be okay. And obviously different weapons have different accuracy values. Machine guns you can only shoot if you're attached to... Uh, oh Christ! Attached to an object. Come on, die! Oh, it's around the corner. Now die! Reload! It doesn't automatically reload, by the way. You have to do it yourself, which is can be a bit annoying. I wonder if I'm actually getting... Oh, I think I've got one. Around the corner. Oh, be okay. Don't run me over! I'm just gonna head back. That was a spawn truck, and that was an APC. These were actual vehicles before they blew up. These cars, I think, might have been... Can I get into cars? No, I can't. Oh, I'm miles away from the armory. That's an AI there, who has no clue what he's doing, it looks like. Oh, he disappeared. Okay, never mind. So yeah, you gain experience, which allows you to use better weapons, which you buy from the armory, but you accumulate RP as well, which is, as you can see, I've got my backpack stuff to sell, which you need to do. Unfortunately, it's a... I don't need the cargo stuff, and I don't need another M16. But the beer can, stuff like that gives you loads of RP. You can also find things like iPods lying on the ground, which you can sell. Back to the main front. Look, here's another guy doing it. Another private. I always like to think I'm amazed. Um, obviously, I got my, my username, Commissar. That was from ages ago when I first got onto YouTube, and that was me misspelling Commissar. But I'm sticking with it because I think it's kind of funny. Um, obviously, I got Commissar from the whole Warhammer 40k type thing. Oh, when we won. Okay, that was about ten minutes long, so we'll we'll go on to another one. Oh, Facebook being Facebook. Oh, loads of team killing going on. Oh, deployable cover. I'll take that. Dragon of that guy's firing. So yeah, it's you're sort of it's almost like a. It's a. It's a MMO FPS, so a massive multiplayer online first-person shooter. I think is that's the one that goes for. I'm not very good with these things. That can't be my rank. I was about to say my rank is not staff sergeant. Oh, I'd like to point out the ranks in this system are American ranks, so if you've got no idea about the American rank system, well, everyone knows the basics, like one, two chevrons is better than one chevron, three chevrons is better than two. But obviously those ones there with the sort of the black black triangle in the middle confuse me, because in the British military, it's definitely different. Oh, and as you can see, this stuff comes across. Oh, I'm purple now. Obviously, um, suppression doesn't work as well. The suppression is not a thing in this game, but against other AI, not against AI, against humans, it does actually make them duck. It makes them think about what they're doing. And there's a sort of crouch cover system where you can, if you press the shoot button, you, your guy will pop up. Slowly. Seems to be in the canyon here. Hopefully, none of them will pop up here. Oh, here we go. Obviously, I'm, I need to get under the lip. Let's see if I can get a grenade up there. Oh, yeah. I got another one. Oh, hello. Oh, but I got those three. Nice. Those three died. Let's just see. I wonder. Usually, I remember there being a settings. Sorry, just bear with me. Was there? Whilst this is all happening, uh, preferences and indicators. Line of sight, help with line, player link on, control help on, all that's on. Alright. Weeks in the 
perhaps. No. Is there no st stick button where if you just hit control it will automatically do it? Prone C. Okay. There it isn't. Never mind. A bit annoying. I, I do like it when games actually put that option in because I just want to hit control. I don't I don't I don't need the whole thing. Oh, no, G36C. See what this looks. I think they're all the same, just different skins, really, for basic weapons. And the sound is called a G36. I'm good with that. Oh, got one. Hello, Greys. Oh, we're fighting Browns. Oh, we're fighting Greys and Browns. It's one of those ones with two factions in. Ooh, don't run in front of them. So the Greys will be the ones of the G36s. They're they're meant to be like the Bundesrags, the German uh, oh, the German defense force. The German defense, the German army. And these games, these like individual invasion games, can go on for ages. So we'll carry on through this entire game, and we'll just go well for however long it takes. Airdrop. See, look, Adolf Schumacher, clearly the German name. Or these are like. It's Harquin Flores. Duke, Sle Duke Sleeps with Cat. Oh my god! What have we got down here? More, more greys. This reminds me of that PlayStation Sony game. Oh, is it Army Men? And the one I played was Air Attack 2, which is where you play as the helicopter force. But it had like the Greens versus the Tan Army. Oh, I died. Greens versus the Tan Army. It was all based off like they were actually toy soldiers, so they had to get plastic to create more men. <laughs> He's building global cover, I think. Let's see if I can go around. What's that? Oh, it's a, it's a turret. This is one where if you hold space, it'll move around. So look, not not shooting, but it's not moving. But if I hold space, we like that. iPod Blue, yes please. Oh, and a riot shield. Oh, my thing's still alright. Where's the armory? Where am I? I'm here. Oh my god, this map's tiny. Vehicles are in this. So you saw the APCs, and they're also Abrams in this. Or it's a t it's a tank. It's not actually an Abram. It's a, it's a tank with an Abram skin. Whether it's actually an Abram or not is debatable. This is our base. If someone took out the radar tower, it would. It would uh, I don't think we'd be able to call in any more support. We. There's no full damage as well. I'm pretty sure. Mortar ammunition. That might be for artillery strikes. I'm not too sure. As mortars do count as artillery. Over the top, gentlemen. So that you know, so this this looks like a very fun game, but there are a surprising amount of tactics in it. And if people work together, they can cause some serious damage. The fact that if you get shot once or twice, you're pretty much dead. You can take maybe three hits. There's no health bar, as far as I know. Oh, hello. Oh, crap. Shit, run back. Run, 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 run. Stop reloading, run. He's got a shotgun, so I should be safe from there. Oh, got one. And I should be safe here as well, as long as I don't throw a frag over. He's got a riot shield, so we can't get him. And as you can see, he's drawing fire. Oh, grenades. Oh, I died. What's 
he do anything? I think he's... Oh, he's been wounded, not killed. See if I can pick him up. I've got a medical pack. I should be able to. Ah! Crap. Sorry about that. I need to remember the controls for this. Uh, what's change weapon? Reload grenade. Equip first, second weapon to B. Okay. I think that brings the backpack up. I think that's uh, another game. These ones are going a lot quicker than I thought they would. We seem to be just steamrolling them. So we'll do another one, and uh, then I think I'll call it quits for that one. Preferably one with some really heavy issue vehicles in. There is melee, which is V. If it's the same, if it's anything like the early access, look, you can see the machine gun thing working there. He had to lie down to fire it. Um. Not very accurate. Bursting it would be much more preferable to full-on squeeze and pull. But their machine guns were never designed to actually kill people. They were designed to suppress. Well, then saying that, the British military itself has a different policy for that. <laughs> Depends what era you think from. The Bren gun, the British Army's World War II machine gun, was or infantry support weapon, I just suppose I should say, um, was designed to kill people whilst the average rifleman was designed to suppress. Right, where are we? We're going this way, that's the target. Clearly this map's not preferred by many. This guy here is just the, the, the campaign objectives, basically. Where well, we should be. Don't come over here! And as you can see down here, the whole West Farm thing, sorry, as I'm moving it's becoming very disorientated, that shows the level of control over an objective. You need to get it across all- oh my good giddy arm. Okay, this is one of those ones where I just hope I'm killing people. Reloaded, reload. That does add a thing, having to reload. Um, and I appreciate it, it means you actually have to remember to reload rather than automatically just pulling the trigger and squeezing it. It can result in you dying a lot if you don't realise you, your rounds. That's in the bot bottom left, obviously, 30 out of 30. Now is this P- yeah, that guy there, is this PvP or PvE? I can't quite remember. Either way, it's fun. Um, oh, good god. Being flanked. I just shot a guy, I think. Sorry. Guys, watch out. Oh. Nice. I think it is PvE, because if you kill another player, I remember it will come up in the top right. And it doesn't seem it to ever pop up unless it's a team kill. That guy stood no chance. I felt kind of sorry for him. Arthur Kaiser. Oh, I keep it, I think something else is actually um Go away. Just wanna reload. I think something else is chat as well. It might be team chat or maybe. Three XP from that. Over the top.
Someone's got a rifle. Oh, hello. Oh, run! For God's sake. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I keep hitting T instead of R. Run, Noah, run! Again, with the whole T. He's got a dragon. Oh, what? It's not a dragon or whatever. It might be PSG if it's German. Yeah. PSG German. Flank him a bit. Flank and Z. Oh, there's some range of the shotgun there. You lose XP every time you die, so if you just keep running out and dying, you will actually... You'll, you'll start losing stuff rather than... But you pick it up very quickly. It's not hard. Got him. I think there's a spaz here. It's not going to be useful at the moment, though. Come on, jump over. Loads of deployable cover, that guy. Where are we? We're like round here, I think, so we're going that way. Follow the follow the horde is probably the best way to describe it. Well, I don't think Jesus has anything to do with you running slow, Mr. Cooper. The server is full, so it's probably going to be a bit laggy. Or it could be, t it could be simply too much weight. Oh, so it's PVE, which is good fun actually. It's uh, it means you have no excuse for dying really, other than weight of fire. Oh, we got the Browns, which are the Soviets. Uh, it could be Russian or Soviets. A Brown Pants Trox 80 tank. Interesting. Near ruins. Oh, there it is. You can see on the map. Looks like a IFV or an APC. Oh, it's our tank. Right. And they took it. Oh, this is not going to be something I'm going to win. Run! Yeah, in this game you really need to learn when to fall back because there's no point throwing yourself unless you're trying to hold them off so your team can show up. There's no point, that's what I mean. There's no point trying to endlessly sacrifice yourself when your team aren't going to make use of them. Because they're, not because they don't want to, it's just because they're not there. Everyone seems to be quite team orientated, or at the very least, orientated enough to work together and concentrate fire. Oh, that's an officer. Well, it's not. It's a sergeant. Uh, but it looks like he's wearing body armor. Oh my god! What was that? Hold on to that. I'm going to go to the armory and drop that off, actually. Actually, I'm not because this this game's almost over. I think so. I'm gonna just I'm gonna play this one out, show you some more action. I love the sense of chaos that comes in this game, especially. Uh, we're going north. The swarm. All oh, grenades. My rock. Can I use the M240? No, I'm not. 
Not high enough rank to use um, light support weapons. Or light machine guns, I suppose, LMGs. Do 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 Oh, he's called in a fire mission, so we need to avoid that. We're fighting the Germans against the Germans. Ooh, there's the artillery mission. Fire mission, I should say, not artillery mission. Be either artillery strike or fire mission, can't use both. He's using his light machine gun to up against the wall. I should be safe enough to run under it due to the gradient. Obviously barbed wire fences or metal fences aren't going to stop bullets coming through. Oh, I've got a little thingy. Probably because I survived long enough to... Ooh, good god. You see, it's very easy to just focus on the crosshair. Oh, they got flashed. And remember, it's AI doing this. There's no, there's no humans, as far as I can tell, in the other team. The Negev. So they're they're smart. They operate in swarms. Oh God! Don't run from someone's bullets. I'm under the the impression that if I run in front of someone and I die, it's my fault because they had a they they had a clear line of sight and I just ran in front of them. Like rule 101, any of this stuff is don't PSG 90 is it? That looks more like an Arctic war. Oh, we got the Russians. He's got a rifle. Kill him. Also need to know when not to push your luck. Check the right, no Russians. Die! He had armor on. See how long I can live. I'm probably going to die now. The Russians and the Germans are having a bit of a. No, 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 no. Can I get a grenade up there? Have a frag! Oh, he died anyway. Don't know what rank that was. Golden Bar? Um, that's an American rank. I'm afraid I don't know that one. In the British Army, you have officer wise, second lieutenant, first lieutenant, captain, major, lieutenant colonel, colonel, brigadier general. I don't know what it is after brigadier general, I'm afraid. <laughs> brigadier general, it might. I don't think it's general. At brigadier general, though, you're a. What in the British Army would be a, a star general. Brigadier generals are one star. Same if, if you're into other ranks, it's the same as an Air Commodore. Yeah, Air Commodore in the RAF. And in the Navy, I'm afraid I don't know the Navy's ranks very well at all. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Run! I just picked that guy up there. I didn't realise. Sorry, it was very tense because the that whole squad of Russians was coming right round the corner. Oh, he's calling in paras, I think. No, die, die, die! Oh, I'm dead. Where is the objective? I was right on top of it. I don't think I can buy anything yet because I haven't been promoted. Obviously, you can stick to the server you're on in order to keep um, your experience. But it's good fun just being a basic private. You can, uh, you can do some good strategies. And none of the weapons are overpowered. They're all different. The sniper rifles aren't as good as 
he says he gets shot by what the sound of the dragon off. Sniper rifles aren't as good as people expect them to be. Oh, transport truck. This is gonna end horribly wrong, we're all gonna die. I'm gonna get out by this rock. He just ran over me, poor blessed German. See if we can You see these little these little scenarios like oh the the truck got ambushed quick well not ambushed he drove straight into them but the truck got hit quick oh we both killed each other quick support them and everyone does try to do it mainly because there's people to kill over there <laughs> that's probably the main reason this match is definitely going on longer than usual seem to be a stalemate. The Blitzkrieg has failed, the Germans have counter-Blitzkrieged, and I believe the Americans in this one have started to take severe casualties. Patrick Santorini here. Satrian Reed, maybe. Donald John Simpson, we're definitely going to go. There's a, there's a good sense of humour to this, I'm not going to... It's, it's not meant to be like the whole battlefield concept of our war is hell. And it's not the dramatic film style of Call of Duty, it's just a good old fashioned. Here, yeah, there's loads of you. Oh, we got grenaded. Here, yeah, there's loads of you. Grab a gun, go do some damage. And it's shown clearly by the fact that you spawn very close to the, the enemy. Uh, you either spawn, unless by some sheer freak coincidence you're miles away from any sort of um, spawn point. Spawn points are very close. Tempted. Tempted. Provide some fire support here. I just spin it around. This is some deployable cover. Um, am I dead? No, I'm still alright. No, I think the Russians are behind us in this one, so I have to be careful. No, we're alright. What have we got here? Pepper dust? Looks like a sh Looks like a shotgun, so I'm gonna hold on to that. I can hear a vehicle. I'm gonna run back to the armory. I've got some actually some decent. Oh, it's a. It's, this is a spawn truck. Is it an armory truck or a spawn truck? Spawn truck. Don't run me over. So the spawn truck, I will probably spawn there if I die now. It's very dangerous to put it right on the front line though, because limited supply spawn trucks. Tanks and stuff will eventually respawn back at main base. That's an AI. What guns can I use? AK, M16 is the same price. This is how you can sort of tell they're about the same. Body armor, grenades, stuns. All right, we're gonna we're gonna push across towards the Soviets. I'm going to call them Soviets because they, they're they brown, which reminds me of the Soviets in the Winter War. Um, that was the one against the Finnish. Obviously they weren't always in brown, they were in white, but... The Russian army, as far as I can tell, their DPU, or NTP, or whatever you want to call the camo, is not brown. I think it's grey. You just have to see the conflict in the Ukraine to guess. The Ukrainians basically have Russian kit. Or a mix, sort of a bastardized version of Russian and some NATO kit. Obviously, a lot more NATO kit now with all that jazz going on. But a lot because the Ukrainians were considered, I suppose, by the Russians, because the whole part of the Cold War deal that the Ukrainians would be in, in Russia's sphere of influence, because that's still how they dealt with it during the Cold War, <laughs> which seems a bit backwards. But there you go. So the Russians supplied the kit. And by kit I mean equipment, by the way, it's just, you know, I'm sure everyone got that, it's just, just in case. No, they did not provide the sports kit to the Ukrainian military. But 
though again, would not be surprised if it's the same thing. Grenade! Get behind the rock! Get flanked. Got a pro grenade. Oh, I didn't do it in time. Did I? No, that's me dropped one. An herbal UAS. Or UAS. I think that's meant to be the, the Russian Jeep. In which case, who cares? It just means there's like a squad of four or five are moving around. Carl! It's like that military memes, um, the shut the fuck up Carl memes. He's that Carl. Ah, you cannot beat German weaponry. Don't know what accent I was going with there. I think I was going with Soviet. Russian. I don't know why I say Soviet. I wasn't even born during that era. I was going with Russian accent. Come on. I could probably get a grenade round there, can I? Have one. Yay. Got, I killed one. Isn't exactly cost effective, but there we go. Oh, my good giddy aunt. Die, Fedor. Oh, I'm shooting the... The green circle, it's a bit like the Men of War thing, means that your rounds are going to hit him. It means your line of sight's at him. Well, not hit him, but your line of sight is at him. Red means that something's blocking it, usually. I don't think there's any corner poking, unfortunately. But even if it doesn't, if it's against an, an AI will keep ducking if rounds are coming at him. So suppression does work to an extent, just not to a massive extent. It's not like built in like um, Ghost Recon had or anything like that, or Battlefield 4 or 3. It's just common sense. Don't don't poke your head up when rounds are coming down. Which, admittedly, for games like Battlefield, oh, I've got three people there. And Call of Duty. Whilst many accept that fact, others just run at it, which can be very infuriating if you want to play a, a slightly more realistic military game. Battlefield is by no means realistic, probably more realistic than COD, but not by much. You want things like Project Reality, which is the Battlefield 2 mod, or Armour, obviously. You want a, a, want a pure on military experience, but Battlefield, I think, has a nice mix of arcade type feel whilst giving it a skin of gritty realism. But the gritty... I liked Bad Company as well, and that had a, a sense of we're the Marines who are sort of crap. Oh, here's the Abram. You've got a machine gun, a driver, and I think the gun is a separate person. It doesn't look like an Abram, though. No, I'm looking at it. It looks more like a leopard. See if we can support it because tanks, while extremely powerful, are very um, vulnerable to certain pieces of kit. Where are we going? We're going the right direction. Oh, hello. Woo! Oh, flanked. How that tanks to me. It doesn't look like that's definitely Russian. It doesn't, look, it doesn't look like a T80. It's more like a T70. Oh, I suppose it looks like a bit of a mix, really. I'm just to see what the Grace tank looks like. I thought that would look like a leopard, if anything. Greys, browns, and greens. I think there's another faction as well. I think the blues are a faction. I think. Maybe. A, Ru a Ruwari tank. That sounds interesting. Cross the street, cross the street, cross the street. Oh, Paris! Killed. Oh, 
did I die? Oh. Oh well. Heading south. There's a mortar... Ooh, mortar ammo... There's a mortar rack and a radar station. Or radar tower. Further south. What's the ya? Ya, comrade. Though you spell ya with a J. If you're going with the German version, yes. It's like Jarl in, Scandi in Scandinavian, Danish, Norwegian, Swedish, and British. <laughs> oh, by British, that makes no sense. Um, Anglo Saxon version of English. Oh no, didn't, think, didn't really think on that one, my bad. Oh, that'll be the comms tower. Gonna go around the long way. You can see the gradient, which means it isn't. Um, you'd think on a top down, you wouldn't be able to understand gradients, but they do it quite well. It's not quite top down either. It's, it's tilted at an angle. And obviously, it plays an important role. I can't shoot them because I'm just not near the top area now. I can. No, I can't. Oh, they got me because they could see my head, but I couldn't get them. Wait! Um... Alright. Oh, resyncing. There we go. Oh no, the Ruwani! Or Ruwari, whatever it was. Another one, we're saved. Approaching from the north. Ooh, PKM. Can I use it yet? I don't think I can. Oh, I can, I can show you how this works then. Uh, so if I hold the trigger, it'll immediately go into the crouch. Um, probably. This is a weapon you cannot run into, I'm afraid. It's it's one where you have to sit up around the back and just let it fire. Oh my good giddy aunt. It's not the best weapon ever. But if you set up under a good piece of cover, you're gonna cause serious havoc. And you can mow down people if they're really stupid. I wonder if I can set up on this. Oh, I can. Nice. Yep. Yeah, um, crouch, crouch cover is a lot better than prone, I'd say. Because you can instantly start shooting. Get to the cover. Get to the cover. I think we just won there. Right. Did we, did we do it? Have we won? Oh, we're going all the way up there. We haven't actually won the game yet. There are G36 somewhere, I want to change my weapon back. Because <laughs> the PKM's good, but it doesn't suit my playstyle right now. Oh, these are two PKMs. Well, I can't use... G36C. Oh, it's gone. It popped. Quick, M16, M16! There we go. Don't need those in my backpack to slow me down. It's not the G36 and M16 AK. I think they're exactly the same, to be honest. Just different skins. Different noises as well. This is quite a big map. About halfway there. These two are territories, so these guys are getting geared up for the, taking out the academy with the greys, brown, browns. Whilst we're going to take out the greys in their last position. 
Because it's invasion, I think it's just them defending and us attacking, so it works with PvE. Oh, look, an actual Commissar connected. But he's not to the Commissar. For the Emperor, for the Imperium. If you will not serve on the front, then you will serve on the firing line. I think that's the line that comes from the from a war commissar. Before he just effortlessly skull shot someone. Is that deployable? Oh no, just got clipped. But the spawn truck, luckily, is like just right there, so I should be spawning near it. There. Stay behind the tank. He says as he runs up behind this deployable cover. I am clipping them, you can see some bits of blood flying off, but... Bits of blood, drops of blood, sorry. That's my English going down the drain. Oh, he's got a Gustav, or a Law, or whatever it is. The best thing I find is just to pop up behind, just behind the main line. Just take a couple, sort of, couple of shots here and there. Support the... Uh, oh, we're going to die. Pull back. Oh, didn't pull back in time. Probably reload after you've fallen back, not when you're doing it. He's got a P sniper rifle. He's got a... I don't know what word I was going with that. You get points for eating people, so you know. The money that you spend when you respawn, because you, you lose experience when you die, and then you see that minus 5 RP, that's the amount of money to re-kit my person. So it's more expensive if you have more expensive kits on you. I got him. I can't get him. Really. He's crouching. I can't get him. Get him though. Die, 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 die. Oh, he made it. What about him? I would obviously type to respond to this guy, but I'm kind of stuck in the middle here. And obviously, that pops up in the top left, but if they're on your screen, it'll pop up as a speech bubble instead. Which is kind of cool, I like it. It gives it a more cartoony feel. Oh! Oh god, he was... He was Bundesrat. Oh, we all spawned there, nice. Sounds like a pistol, almost. That's the radio tower. He's drop C4. Run! Or don't. I'm gonna keep the cigarettes in case I need them. You know, to pawn off for more weapons. Where's this grenade? Oh shit, it's there. This R can I actually use it? Yes, I can! Yo, have some ziggies! Oh, you absolute R- Oh, it was a gem that did that. I don't know if I got rid of them in time. I don't think I did. I'm tempted to get in that Jeep, but I'm not going to. Starting to count. That noise you can hear is in the bottom. You can see it counting down for us taking the position over, unless they manage to bring more of a presence in. Just keep him suppressed. Yeah, keep him suppressed until Bruce kills him. Is this the win? I think the Soviets still have a position. The brown pants, sorry. 
Grey collars are gone. Target the academy. Right, there must be a jeep somewhere. I think you can fit four or five. Four. You can't shoot, so I don't know why they bother doing this. We can't wait up. We're, we're full. We have a... I don't know what rank that is. I don't know what rank that is either. A private and a... Am I a corporal? Oh no, that's me. Howling Wolf Cockburn. I've got to imagine these might be Kickstarter names. Well, the cover's not breakable in this. I think boxes are. Brigadier General. Cargo truck. Come on! Oh, your name, your actual username's defeat. That's not, it's not encouraging. Oh. I thought I was on the school bus. Five hundred XP to unlock anti tank weapons. I don't know what my XP is at the moment. I imagine it's not a lot. Disband. My XP's are oh, 492. So I'm quite close actually. Probably 490 now. I hope that tank's not going to hold them off. I'm sort of relying on the tank here. I don't know if you get more XP if you kill higher ranking soldiers. I haven't worked that out yet, but I suppose we can guess. That was three. The other was four, though. Was that based on his rank? Or was that based on the equipment he had? Or maybe the way I, how much I contributed to killing him? Sounds all very sadistic when you say it, isn't it? How much I contributed to ending his life? Oh, we've got them around. We've got them on the... Oh, promoted, hooray, we got them by the balls on this one. I think that means I have access to AT a weaponry now, which is great. It means I can equip that in case I run across tanks. It's a bit more expensive though if I die, so, you know. Each to their own. There are weapons I think you can't actually buy in the army, I believe. Which uh, are like rare weapons. But you can store them on these stashes. Well, I think if you take them to the armory, you can actually buy other people to buy them, so it's your choice, really. Johnny, you're killing our teammates here. Oh, here we go. We're over the three quarters. We might win this. Victory! Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that was a look at Running with Rifles. It's a great little game, and you should definitely play it if you have, you know, um, just fork out some money for it, because it's great. I really enjoy it. And um, let me know in the comments if you want to uh, continue watching me play this, and then maybe we can actually do one where I fight alongside subscribers and you guys can join in and all that jazz. Um, well, this is Commentar Zero, signing out.